Hello Capricorn, greetings. I'm Karma. Welcome to Karma on Deck. I will be doing your reading for the week of September 4th through September 11th. So let's take a look and see what's going on for you Capricorn. I'm also a Capricorn sun, so let's see what plays out for us. Hell yeah. All right, Capricorn. We've got a lot of continuity between readings today. And even if I shuffle, we do have a lot of energy that is consistent throughout a thread, throughout um, the different zodiac signs, because planetary alignments tend to be the big thing in the sky. So let's see what's going on for us, Capricorn. Wow, so we're meeting new people. So the Four of Cups references new collaborations, meeting new friends, new connects, um, being more social. I don't know about you, but I've been a little, I don't want to say antisocial. I mean, I've been social. However, I haven't gone out to do new things in a little while. <laughs> I've been really caught up in all the day-to-day -day stuff and really just focusing on what's happening next for me. Queen of Cups right next to that, that is some really deep, a loving, emotional energy that's going on there. We have the six of coins, so money still Capricorn, of course, money plays a role. <laughs> so we have the six of coins, which is you balancing the money that comes into your arena, balancing things, trying to come to ground with what it is you need to spend and focusing a little bit more on the pennies. We do really well at that. We work entirely too hard for those little pennies, so we are paying attention to where they all go, right? Physical labor. So you're finding yourself coming up on some tasks next week where you'll be putting in a little bit more work than you had prior to been doing. So this is physical labor and this is monetary. Okay. Then we have, ooh, I like it. Okay, so for, I don't know about you, but for the last couple weeks, it has been nothing but standstill. And from what I understand, mm, astrologically next week, we'll begin to see things starting to slide into play a little bit more. It's those gears shifting and the engine starting to finally move. For those of you that are like me, I felt like I'm just been revving my engine at the starting gate, so to speak, and I'm just waiting for them to pull that flag so I can bust out of here and do the things I've been planning to do and setting myself up for and stepping really into that. So the eight of wands is telling us your schedule is going to pick up. God. I don't want this for me. So the Knight of Coins is definitely recovering from some, you know, you're, well, I don't know, a little of both. You have some money coming in and it feels like, it also feels like you're a novice at this point. However, a Hierophant is telling us that these little steps that you're taking along the way are in a solid manner and putting your, um, the, Joyces together and taking your time and making sure the house is solid before you having this learning curve. 